Okay, so in part A here, it says draw a sketch of the plan view of the mountain hut. Okay, so mountain hut, okay. Essentially, it's just a shed, isn't it? That's what we've got here. Now, when it says plan view, you've got to realize that we're looking down on it, okay? As if we're high up in the sky and looking down. Because you see that word sort of plan there, okay? And when you've got sort of like plans for a building or something, the, the main sort of part of that plan is you, you're just looking down on it, isn't it, okay? Just to think about that. But you've got to think about yourself as being really high up. So when you look down, you're just going to see the top of the roof, aren't you? If you think about it, when you look down, you're just going to see the roof. But you won't see it sort of like that, because when you look at it sideways there, okay, it's kind of like kind of like forming triangle shape almost, isn't it? Yeah. When you're looking down on it, you won't see that sort of inclination up to the centre. Okay. Looking down on this from a great height, you will just see the sort of ground that it takes up, okay, which will be of course a rectangle, won't it? In terms of what it's sitting on. So it'll just be a rectangle. So essentially, what we want to see is, okay, here is a rectangle. Okay, so we'll use a ruler to make sure we've got um, it drawn properly. And the other thing you could do as well is um, you could draw a line in the center to sort of represent the, the sort of apex, the top of that roof. Okay, um, so if I just sort of get this accurate as I can, so what have I got there? 35, so 17 ish in the middle there. And same down here. Okay, so even though it draws a sketch, it says draw a sketch, we do sort of need to get the drawing as accurate as we can to sort of represent what it will look like when you look down on it. Okay, that's what it will look like there. And you might be able to see that sort of sort of top of the roof there like that, right? So you can imagine now what it looks like from a great height. Part B then, it says the mountain hut is shown um, on a map. The scale of the map is one to 50,000, okay? So for every one unit on the map, whatever that is, if it's a centimeter or if it's a millimeter, you know, you get your ruler and put it on that map. Whatever you're using, if you're using millimeters, okay, or centimeters, right? And in this case, they're using 4.2 centimeters, okay? So they've measured 4.2 centimeters. What is, what is that actually then in real life? Well, this is the scale here, so actually, in real life, it's actually going to be 50,000 times the measurement that's been taken of 4.2 centimetres. So we've got a times 4.2 by 50,000. That's what it would be then in real life, okay? 50,000 times bigger than that. Now, to calculate that, okay, um, lots of different ways. You might think, oh, let's just remove the decimal point. That's, that's one way of doing it, isn't it? Okay and multiply it like that, and we'll put the decimal point back in afterwards then. So 42 times five, for instance, you could do that, couldn't you? Ignore the zeros, just, just do that for now. 42 times five, well, 40 times five is 200, and two times five is 10. So 42 times five is 210, and then of course we'll add one, two, three, four zeros on, okay? But when it comes to our answer then, remember we've got one decimal place here, so we want to have one decimal place in our answer, so it'll be 210, and so I had, and then actually it'll only be three zeros, wouldn't it? Because you'd have a point there, wouldn't you? You'd want a decimal point there, so it'll be point zero. So we don't need to write that in, so it's 210,000. So we've measured 4.2 centimeters on the map, but that's actually equal to 210,000 centimeters in real life. We've then got to change this to kilometers, okay? Now, to change it to kilometers, please take your time, all right? Um, first of all, change it to meters, I would, okay? Because you've got centimeters. Now, let's think about it. There is a hundred centimeters in a meter. So, how many hundreds are in here? How many hundred centimeters are in here? So, we just divide by a hundred. So, the zeros will cancel, and you're left then with... 2100 and that'll be meters 
and then if you've got that in meters you can then put it in kilometers and you know a kilometer is a thousand meters so you're just going to divide that then by a thousand and 2100 divided by a thousand will be 2.1 yeah so 2.1 kilometers